Hey guys, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this butternut squash soup with four ingredients. So healthy for you, yes, so delicious. The ingredients you're gonna need is a medium size apple. It can be a gala or an apple crisp or Fuji. One, two and a half to three pounds of butternut squash. Two large carrots, I've peeled it and I've removed the ends there of the carrot and one medium sized onion. I had a large onion, so I'm just gonna use half of this. I'm gonna show you how simple and easy this is to get together. First, we're gonna take our carrots. We're just gonna break them down into one inch pieces. Be careful when working with the knife, very important. We're gonna add this to a four quart Dutch oven or heavy saucepan, just like that, with our onion. This is a large onion, like I said, so I'm just gonna slice it in half. I'm gonna reserve one half for later in my cooking. But for this butternut squash soup recipe, we're gonna use half this onion. We wanna remove the ends and remove the outer layer of the onion till it's nice and skin free. And with your knife, flat side down of the onion, we're gonna slice it in half and we're just gonna cube it. Then we're gonna add this into our Dutch oven. Now, if you don't have a Dutch oven, you can use a heavy bottom saucepan. For the butternut squash, I'm gonna set my water off to the side. Remove the top, and we can discard that. Ooh, look how pretty that orangey color is. And we're going to remove the bottom. Just a little bit, not much, just until you get that end removed. Where the neck meets the bottom of our squash, we're going to cut it in half. And remember, be very, very careful when working with a knife. Very important. And we're gonna go flat side down, and I'm gonna show you how to peel it. We're gonna take our knife, and we're gonna run between the skin and the squash itself until you get all the skin removed there from your squash. Now that we've got the skin removed, oh, and I love that orangey color and it smells so good. We're gonna just take our chef's knife and cut it in half. Okay, no seeds in the neck part of this butternut squash. Then we're gonna lie it flat and move the peel away. Slice flat side of your squash down always so it won't roll around. We're gonna turn it and we're just gonna make cubes of our butternut squash. Look how beautiful that is. And we're gonna add this to our Dutch oven or heavy bottom saucepan. You're gonna do the same with the other half. Remember, always work with flat side down. That way it's not gonna roll around on you. And like always, be very careful when working with a knife. So, so important. And back in with the remaining butternut squash, onions, and carrots. Now, for this part, again, we're starting flat side down and we're gonna cut this in half. This is gonna be a little bit different when we cut this in half because you're gonna have seeds. Use a spoon and remove the seeds and the membrane of the squash. Very easy to do. Have fun doing it. Take your time. Get your kids in the kitchen. Teach them how to eat healthy and fresh. We're gonna remove the skin from this part. Same as we did to the neck of the butternut squash. Flat side down again. We're just going to cut it into cubes, turn it sideways. You can lie them down for it to be a little safer. It doesn't need to be perfect, but again, we'll just cut it into cubes. Add this to your Dutch oven, the apple. I'm using a paring knife, and we're going to remove the skin of the apple. Now that we've got our apple peeled, I'm going to come back with that chef's knife and I'm going to quarter the apple. Paring knife again. I'm gonna remove the ends, and I'm gonna remove the center. Okay, you're gonna do it to all quarters of your apple. Cut them, the quarters in half again, and then in half. You don't need to, just large chunks of apple. You're wondering, why are we adding apple? 
we add the apple because this gives a little sweetness to our butternut squash along with the carrots and the onions will give it a really savory flavor so in with the apples and that's it then we're going to add water fresh water until it covers the top of our squash our apples our onions by about one inch this is off to the stove top on medium high heat until it comes to a boil don't add any salt at this time because it'll make your vegetables and squash a little tough and we want it as tender as we can get it now that your soup comes to a roaring boil we're going to turn it down to medium high give it a little stirring and you can use a spoon to skim off the top this is just proteins being released from the vegetables and discard it. Continue cooking your vegetables for the next 30 to 45 minutes or until your vegetables are super tender. And once I remove the protein around the edge here, I just rinse that off under cool running tap water. I'm gonna turn off my timer. I cooked mine for 40 minutes. Gonna give it a lovely little stirring and that butternut squash looks completely tender the way we're looking for it let's go over here and find some butternut squash you see fork tender is what you're wanting you see how it's just falling apart that's what you're looking for turn off my heat drag it to the back burner and let it cool off for a little bit before we add it to the blender adding your vegetables right into a blender using a ladle i've got half my vegetables and liquid added we're going to add the top we're gonna go down here, turn it on, and we're going to puree. Puree for about two minutes. Two minutes are up. Let's turn it off. And let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's so steamy. Now is the time to check for flavor. And we'll see if it needs any salt. Sometimes I've made this and it really doesn't need any salt or pepper at all. Mmm, wow. Lovely, creamy. Mmm, mmm, -hmm. really delicious. But I think I'm going to just add maybe a half a teaspoon of salt and a little bit of white pepper. But if you have black pepper, you may use that too. And then I'm going to continue adding the remaining vegetables and liquid. Put it on. Add your pureed butternut squash soup into its pot. Heat over medium low heat and serve. Soup's on. Butternut squash soup. So healthy and delicious. Serve it with a dollop of sour cream along with a little sprig of parsley. Gotta give it a try. Get a little bit of that sour cream on there. Mmm. Silky, smooth, just perfectly seasoned, perfectly pureed. You're not going to go wrong with this seasonal butternut squash soup. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching you all. Stay safe and I'll catch you lovely people later.